Wiggle, snap, story time! Welcome to story time with me, Miss Booksy! Hi kids! Welcome to story time at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy! Today we're reading Beauty and the Beast! Chapter 3, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! Beast? Is that your real name? No, my real name is Sam. Oh, well, hi Sam. So what's the deal with these invisible servants? Long story. They're not ghosts, are they? No. Oh, phew, that's good. I'm scared of ghosts. There's nothing here to be scared of, I promise. Okay, question two. If you have magical invisible servants, then what do you need me for? You'll be my personal assistant. That sounds cool. Belle Rose, executive personal assistant. I'll probably need a business card. <laughs> Ooh, this is so exciting. I'll have Gustav show you a room. Good night, Belle. Has the invisible guy been here the whole time? Uh, boy, this is gonna take some getting used to. Belle followed invisible Gustav to her new room. It was pretty amazing. This is amazing. Belle's bedroom had a huge bed with like a hundred little fancy pillows. There was a princess canopy, a giant chandelier, and only about a thousand books. That is amazing. Princess and the Pea, nice. Cinderella, one of my faves. Sleeping Beauty, a classic, but I'd like it better if the main character were awake more. She snoozes through like the whole book. <laughs> know what I mean, Gustav? You still there, Gustav? Okay, well, Gustav, I think I'm gonna turn in right now. Thank you very much, nice invisible people. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night, <laughs> see you in the morning. I mean, not see you, you know what I mean. <laughs> that was so funny. I should write my dad a letter before bed. <laughs> He'll wanna know how things are going. Dear Dad, what a day. The beast is not at all what I expected. I thought he'd be all growly and snarly and mean, but so far he seems pretty nice. The food here is very good. <laughs> oh, and get this, all the butlers and maids are invisible. I don't know why, but Sam assures me that they're not ghosts. Anyway, I'm sure you're worried about me, but I'm really doing okay. Love always, Belle. <laughs> oh, P.S. The beast's real name is Sam, by the way. <laughs> Belle was right. Her dad was very worried about her. It was hard for him to have his sweet daughter so far away and living with a scary beast, no less. Poor Belle. I just hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. So she lives with a scary monster, so what? Yeah, no big deal, Dad. Wow, that is so mean. It's all my fault. The next day, Belle woke bright and early, excited <sighs> to start her new job. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Sam, what's on the agenda for today? Stocks, bonds, monthly reports, number crunching? I was thinking we'd just go for a hot air balloon ride. A hot air balloon ride? Yeah, that sounds like fun, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Belle and the Beast spent their first full day together flying around in a hot air balloon, just talking and getting to know each other. Well, mostly Belle talked. So yeah, my brother and sister are kind of annoying, but they're family, what are you gonna do? <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? No. Do you have parents? No. Any family at all? No. Oh, so sad. Family's very important, at least you have your health. <laughs> and a castle. <laughs> your hair is also very nice. Do you use conditioner? I use coconut oil in my hair sometimes. It's very moisturizing and it smells delish. Do you have any coconut oil? It's very nutritious. What in the heck is that? It's a hot air balloon, you dingbat. Yeah, but what about a furry dude riding in it? Say, that looks like a monster. I don't like monsters. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle and the Beast were happily floating along when suddenly... What was that? Someone shot at our balloon. Oh no, ah, we're going down. Ah. Hold on, Belle. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. <gasps> there they are. Get him. Belle, stand back. All right, doggy, say. I'm not a dog. He can talk? Of course I do. I'll try not to use big words so you can understand me. 
Okay, just get back now. Girl, you better come with us. This ugly mutt looks dangerous. Back up now, or we'll shoot. That was so scary. Are you okay? I'm fine. Whew, that was a close one. Aw, look, you scratched your paw. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeesh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're walking back then? Yeah. Belle and the Beast walked back toward the castle. Belle had a feeling that the Beast was a little embarrassed. She certainly wouldn't appreciate being called an ugly mutt. Gee, nothing like being shot out of the sky by a couple of huntsmen to ruin your day, huh? Thanks for protecting me, Sam. No problem, Belle. I'm just glad it's over. But unfortunately, it wasn't over. The hunters had run back to their hunting lodge, where they told anyone who would listen all about the big, scary beast in the woods. Oh, that's so not cool. I'm telling you, he's at least 10 feet tall. And hairy all over. And he had fangs. Huge fangs and claws. Huge claws. He looked like he was half wolf, half bear. But this guy was me. Yeah, and he had a lady with him. We have to go back and save a lady. Yeah! yeah. Luckily for the beast, his castle was miles and miles and miles away from the hunting lodge. It would take ages for the gang of hunters to find it. But speaking of miles and miles, he and Belle were still walking back and Belle's feet were starting to hurt. How much longer till we get back to your castle? Here, jump on my back. Oh, that is so nice. <sighs> Giddy up. <laughs> the beast took off and he was fast like a cheetah. <laughs> Everything went by in a blur. And in no time at all, the Beast and Belle were back at the castle, safe and sound for now. <sighs> that was almost more fun than the hot air balloon. <laughs> now, let's get your paw bandaged. Turns out the Beast was a big baby when it came to boo-boos. There, <laughs> all better. <laughs> and you only cried a little. I did not cry. Sure, okay. I didn't. I hope he'll be okay. You know what would be nice right now? Hot cocoa. Gustav, can we have some hot cocoa? Gustav isn't here. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Gustav! Gustav, could you make us some hot cocoa? Ooh, with the tiny marshmallows on top, please! With tiny marshmallows, please, Gustav! He should wear a bell around his neck. When do I get to hear the story about your invisible butlers and maids? In time, Belle in time. Cheers, Belle. Cheers, Sam. <laughs> it was cozy and peaceful in the castle, but outside, somewhere far away in the dark woods, the gang of hunters were searching for the beast. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. I can't wait to see what happens next. Come back for the next chapter. Thanks for coming, bye.